I'm Kevin Bialis. I work for the Bureau of Freshwater and Biological Monitoring in the uh, Rivers and Streams Chemistry section. First thing we do when we get back to the site is we want to perform a turbidity measurement on the water sample that we've collected in the churn. So what I do here is quite literally just like churning butter, I agitate the sample using the agitator. While doing that 10 times, I'll take a vial out and I'll spin it and collect some water. Also, while I'm taking turbidity measurements, you're multitasking too. You're making sure to take an air temp while you're at the site. We pop it into a turbidity meter, and the idea is that it's gonna be uh, using ultraviolet light to pass through the sample to take a reading. 8.49. We'll use the same meter to take other on-site measurements such as pH and specific conductivity. Specific conductivity is just a way of measuring essentially how salty the stream is. The road salt is a big influencer of that. So, you know, with the recent snowstorm that we had, I would expect probably a higher reading from that then too. Before we do that, we're gonna collect some samples. These are what are gonna be called our total parameters. So these are the ones that aren't, uh, as opposed to being dissolved into the stream column, these are the ones that are gonna be suspended in the stream column. So we're ready to finally take our total samples here. Uh, total samples are gonna be unfiltered, straight from the churn. Uh, this, the technical name of this is a churn splitter, and the idea is that you're splitting the composite sample into different bottles. So the first one that we're gonna do is going to DOH, Department of Health, it's coded as TSS, Total Suspended Solids. It's gonna be closely linked to the turbidity of the stream. And then while even you're collecting the sample, they wanna make sure that you're churning so that you're always agitating the water, getting it all mixed. Now these bottles are going to USGS and now, after I've done a pre-rinse of the bottle, I'll take the actual sample. Again, churning within each time. All right, and then uh, once we've collected the total samples, you wanna make sure that you put them on ice. All right, we're gonna use a, uh, a capsule filter, filter out these samples and get our dissolved parameters. The dissolved parameters are biologically available. So the dissolved, pollutants and parameters that we're gonna be looking for are typically gonna influence the aquatic life of the stream more easily, the, uh, the fish and macroinvertebrates. Each bottle, they all have different colors for different reasons. Brown will be so that the sun doesn't get through and degrade the sample with the sunlight. This is acid rinse for metal parameters. Typically what we're doing here is we're, we're collecting the total and dissolved organic carbon components of the stream. The things that might influence are like the leaves that you see entering into the stream. We're gonna take three filters. So we have our filters prepped. We're gonna be using the brown bottles that we uh, collected. And I'll take it out just a little bit beforehand so I can fill it up to the shoulder. So you can tell, did pick up a lot of the iron flock that we saw within the stream. We use these acid vials that are a little portion controlled. They're provided by USGS.